Right now I'm supposed to be at work, see me, I'm here, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to get fuel. They have been checking their fuel for like five, five minutes, maybe there's still fuel there. See now, this is past 11, I've been here 2 a.m., this is past 11, and I don't even, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get fuel, and if I didn't get the fuel today, definitely I'll still be here tomorrow. I would not say the removal is bad because nothing good comes easy of a truth. But the thing is that better is the end of everything than the beginning thereof. I think it's for us as in Nigeria, we can still be patient. Because look at the amount government is putting on subsidy. It's not like, it's huge. I think that money is enough to upgrade our refinery. So at least for Nigeria, let's be patient and see the end of it. I feel um, what happened was like the president was too harsh he, to implement the policy just like that without due process. As you can see now, because of that, there's frantic buying. Like you can see the queue. Everybody's hustling to get four because of what he declared on TV. Five liters, four thousand annual. Go share more costs and upgrade your speech. Across West Africa, you have, you know, top prices much higher than what you have in Nigeria. Um, the truth is, our economies, I mean, on the GDP per capita, are perhaps, you know, more buoyant than what you have for most West African countries. And there will have to be an adjustment period um, and a change in consumption patterns, maybe in lifestyle. Um, for, for Nigerians, because the truth is, what I like to note, we don't really have any options at this time. 